Welcome back. We're in Learning Unit 19.2. Let's take a look at from the following facts. In number one, we need to calculate the assessed value of Bill's home. And uh, so let's take a look at the facts. His assessed value is at 40 percent. That's the rate. The market value of Bill's home is 210,000. So if you want to get his uh, assessed value, take the market, assessed market value of 40 percent times the market value of his home, 210 and his house would be assessed for $84,000. In question two, part two, he says calculate the tax for the community in decimal. So what you do here is you take the total budget needed, $176,000, divided by the total assessed value of $1,910,000, comes out in this case to a tax rate of .0922. In question number three, we want to convert the decimal to a percent per hundred of assessed value and per 1,000 and then into mills. Let's take a look at that. So in number three, in A, we want to take the tax rate and move it two places to the right so it would be 9.2 percent. In B, we want to take the two places to the, uh, in hundredths so it would be again 9.22. Notice again the A and B are the same amounts. In letter C, when we're talking per thousand, you move it three places to the right and the tax rate would be 92.20 per thousand. In letter D, to do mills, you take 0.0922 divided by 0.001 and in this case that would come out to be 92.2 mills. In number four, we can calculate the property tax due on Bill's home in decimal and per hundred and per thousand and in mills. So in number four, per decimal, we take the .0922 times the assessed value of 84,000, comes out to a property tax of 7,744.80. In terms of doing it in uh, percent, we take 9.22 times 840. Again, we're, to we're taking away two zeros from the 84,000, gives you a rate of uh, property tax of 7,744.80. In thousands, you then would move the decimal three places over or 92.20 times 84. And again, the 84, we were dropping three zeros from the 84,000. Gives us that property tax of 7,744.80. Again, notice we get the same property tax for all three. When you're doing mills, you take the tax rate, 92.20, you multiply it times 0 .001 times the full assessed value of 84,000, and using mills, you have a, a property tax of 7,744.80. In reality, mills are not used in all states, but they do exist today. So keep in mind, when you're doing property tax, check your tax rate and to find out whether it's based on decimal, per hundreds, per thousands, or per mills.